Garfield Effect, Galaxy Adventure, Chapter 10. Garfield was in the engineer, checking... <laughs> of course he was. Checking on engines for maximum usage and talking to engineers Gabby Daniels and Kenneth Donnelly. Garfield engine needs repair, but it is too difficult for us, said Kenneth Donnelly with confused tongue. Yes. <clears throat> yes! If only real men worked on engines, then maybe it could be fixed, cried Gabby Daniels with worried heart. Worry not, hot legs. I fix engine like pro mechanic. You should watch you two might learn something, said Garfield with wrench in hand and courage in heart. Garfield leaped on the engine, ripping it apart with manly hands with oil spurting on his muscles, turning Gabby Daniels on like warming engine. After twists and turns of the wrench, Garfield fixed engine with no problem. Garfield, you naughty grease monkey. You drive me wild like wrench in the night, <laughs> said Gabby Daniels, body dripping with oil and sweat. You are the naughty one, you sassy she-woman, said Garfield as he put Gabby Daniels on his lap with a mighty swoop and began to spank her with pleasuring fury as he laughed like, like love-making madman. Ha! 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 Laughed Garfield as he spanked Gabby with powerful hand, making her long for his manly body. Garfield, you rev me up like space engine in heat. Take me and work me over like model car, said Gabby Daniels with desire. Will do. I will go inside and change your oil. Kenneth, I order you to watch so you can learn something. Captain's orders. Oh, all right, this is getting pretty fucking serious here, said Garfield with insistence as he took Gabby took as he took Gabby took the back for heavy lovemaking. Time for um, time for a remodeling, said Garfield as he took Gabby's clothes off and began rubbing her body. Kenneth looked on with approval as Garfield fondled Gabby's supple breasts with his muscular arms. Kenneth looked on in approval as Garfield fondled Gabby's supple breasts with his muscular arms. Garfield, pump me with gas. I am almost empty, moaned Gabby with pleasure. I am the gas man. I will pump you with highest quality fuel. Enjoy every drop, said Garfield like manly gas man pumping the gas into a high quality sports car. Garfield thrust into Gabby, making scream with moaning passion as Kenneth looked on, taking notes. Garfield and Gabby then lay exhausted from st strenuous sexual exercise. Excellent job, Garfield. You're true master, said Kenneth, giving Garfield a thumbs up. Thank you, Kenneth, but I think this saucy lady needs some more discipline, said Garfield as he put Gabby on his lap and spanked her some more. Garfield, spank me more. I love it. I need it, said Gabby, screaming. I will spank you into oblivion, growled Garfield seductively as he read as he read readied, readied himself for more spanking pleasure. As Garfield spanked Gabby, the elusive man contacted Garfield through hologram for important mission. What is it? I'm busy, said Garfield with Gabby on his lap. Garfield, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I have important mission for you. A derelict reaper has been found. It has reaper IFF codes. With these, you can go into Omega Relay and fight collectors, said the elusive man with request. Very well. I will head immediately and find reaper IFFs so I can stomp collectors on my boot. Over and out, declared Garfield with speech. Joker. <coughs> Joker. Head to derelict reaper and make with haste, ordered Garfield as he continued to spank Gabby. With Garfield's orders, the Normandy sped to the derelict reaper like a sprinting gazelle leaping for joy. As the Normandy traveled, Garfield continued to spank Gabby, delivering pressure to her rear... Pleasure? Pleasure to her rear and thighs. When Normandy arrived at the derelict reaper, Garfield let Gabby off. <laughs> her hindquarters reds with spanking. She would uh, not sit for days, but she was happy. Garfield, please be careful. I'll be, uh, waiting for you, sighed Gabby with worry. No problem, babe. Keep the bed warm for me, said Garfield coolly as he left the Normandy to board the derelict reaper. Garfield took Tally and Garris with him to explore the derelict reaper for IFF codes. Garfield and the squad searched the derelict reaper for IFF codes, finding no one inside. Where is everyone? asked Tally with worry. You women always worry. Relax. Big strong man is here, said Garfield with confidence. Garfield, you always know what to say to make woman feel good, said Tally as she grasped his muscular arm. Garris looked at Garfield and Tally with jealous gaze and sighed to himself with longing dejection. As Garfield comforted Tally with his manly presence, he sensed figures moving in the distance approaching them. They were husks! Ha ha, Garfield, you'll not leave this place alive. Prepare to be digestion, garbled the sinister husks with evil intentions. 
I do not think so. I prefer my food being cooked first, so let us have barbecue, said Garfield slyly as he took out two flamethrowers, lighting a cigar with one. The husks rushed Garfield with great attacks, but it was no use. Garfield torched them with ease with his special lasagna... With his special lasagna flamethrowers. One husks jumped on Garfield's back. Oh yeah, where, where the fuck was I? Jesus Christ. Oh, I got fucked up. Uh, there we go. I, I, I accidentally scrolled up while I was reading. One husks jumped on Garfield's back, trying to choke him in piggyback move. But Garfield brushed him off with ease and then stomped on his skull. Let us move quick and get IFF code, said Garfield as he and his squad ran through the derelict reaper, torching husks as they went. Garfield and squad finally came to a room with many husks inside discussing plans. We must protect the, uh, these uh, IFF codes from Garfield, said the husk general to his husk followers. Those IFF codes belong to Garfield's, shouted a metallic voice. It was a geth! The reapers must be stopped. I will get those codes, said the geth! Come, we must help, shouted Garfield, barging in flamethrowers blazing with powers. The husk general confronted the geth with evil. None of you will leave this IFF, said the husk general as he shot the geth. Geth, 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 whatever the fuck it is. It's a geth. I know it's geth. No! Ow! Screamed the geth as he lay injured. Garfield saw the evil display and became filled with an oily rage of destroyed wing forests. <laughs> I will get you! Said Garfield as he charged through the husk like seashells through sand as he torched them to waste. Garfield then approached the husk general with a strut so manly the ground cried. <laughs> Garfield, you may be manly, but I will not let you have these IFF codes. It's, it is, it's, it's the orders, said the Husk General. Relax, have a smoke, said Garfield, sticking a piece of dynamite in the Husk General's mouth. Light up. Garfield wittily commented as he lit the dynamite with his flamethrowers. <laughs> Cried out the Husk General, mouth stuffed with dynamite. Do not lose your head, quipped Garfield with clever joke as the Husk General head blew off like geyser in a black hole. G Arfield, te injured Geth, was injured and crying for help. Quick, take this Geth. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's a Garfield dialogue line. Why the, why, why the fuck that up? Quick, take this Geth. We must bring it back for repairing, ordered Garfield to the squad. But Garfield, Geth are bad menaces. We must not bring it back. They are our enemies, cried Otali with girlish crying. Shut up, woman! Do as I say, roared Garfield as he backhanded Tali in the face. Yes, Garfield, you are right, and I am wrong, apologized Tali with truth. After apologizing for stupid sayings, Tali took the geth and followed Garfield and Garrus off the derelict reaper and back on the Normandy. Before leaving the derelict reaper, Garfield said his farewells. Goodbye, reaper. You need a vacation here. Why do you not go somewhere sunny? Said Garfield with chill tone as he punched the reaper with a mighty punch, setting it into the nearby sun. The whole reaper. The fucking... Garfield punched the ship. Why can't he just rip a hole through time and space and fuck up the collectors that way? Why Why can't he just, like, take his dick out and stick it into a black hole and, and the collectors just fucking come out as a sperm? I don't fucking know. <sighs> I love this so much. Garfield is just so good. I just... <clears throat> I can't. <clears throat> so good. All right, where was I? Uh, something about Garfield punching the fucking Reaper. <sighs> Sending it to a nearby son. When back in the Normandy, Garfield checked up on the Geth Geth to see if all was well. Greetings, Mr. Geth. I'm thanking you for your help, but why do you help us? You're Geth, and Geth are evil. Asked Garfield with good questions. All Geth are not evil. Some Geth are evil and follow Reapers. Other Geth are good. I'm a good Geth, said the Geth with answers. That is good. But what is your name? asked Garfield. My name is Legion, answered the Geth with respect and awe of Garfield. That's a silly name, asked, oh no, said Garfield with mocking truth. I'm sorry. It's not my fault I have a silly name. Please, forgive me, Garfield, begged Legion as he kneeled on the ground. It is okay, but do not anger me more. Now stop crying like a woman, scolded Garfield as he left to his quarters. What great man and amazing leader, said Legion in awe to himself. Back in the captain's quarters, Garfield was relaxing and enjoying a nice lasagna dinner when Edie appeared in his room. Garfield, I have need to talk with you, said Edie with longing voice. What is the matter, Edie? asked Garfield with caring concern. Even though I'm a machine and you make me feel in ways no, no one else can, I see you from my hub and long for you, cried Edie with desire. You have no need to long no more. I will satisfy you and make you feel like a real woman, whispered Garfield to Edie as he stroked her. Garfield, 
Come and pleasure my CPU, said Edie with desire. Garfield rubbed Edie's sexy blue body and licked her blue dome. Edie massaged Garfield between his legs, arousing him sensually. Nothing I like better than a... Oh, no, it is Edie. Nothing I like better than a good soldier standing erect, said Edie with sassy seduction as she continued to stroke Garfield between his thighs. Garfield then took a hold of Edie, brought her to his bed, and mounted her behind with roaring love. Garfield squeezed Edie with his powerful thighs and thrust into her like a runaway tornado. After nearly ten hours of intense lovemaking, Garfield and Edie finally released, rested, laying on the bed with satisfaction until the morning light. To be continued. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things. And if you want to watch more Garfield Effect Galaxy Adventure, click up in the top right-hand corner. If you want to watch a video that has nothing to do with my channel whatsoever, click in the bottom left-hand corner. If you want to buy shirts and shit, that's in the top left-hand corner. And I also have a Patreon because I'm a piece of shit, and that's in the bottom right-hand corner. All right, bye.